Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick weave tutorial for you all, a very detailed one. So starting off, I'm sectioning off my leave out. I like to do two braids for my leave out and I want this hairstyle to be um, minimal leave out. So I'm just making sure with my comb that the leave out that I left out is enough to um, cover up my tracks. But again, I want it to be minimal, so I'm taking the least amount needed. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I feel like the two braids is just much better than one braid. For some reason, it just allows you to get... Um, it allows me to just have like the least amount of leave out possible but still ensures that when I do my part down the middle it's perfect so now I'm just leaving out edges literally just edges again I want minimal leave out but I still want a natural look so I'm gonna braid my edges down on both sides and then we're gonna start parting for our braid down so the braid down today is pretty normal nothing too crazy the only thing is I'll show you guys when I get there, but um, when I get to that step. But the only thing is that I'm not going to be starting my braids at the very top. I'm going to be leaving a little bit of space at the top so that I think that kind of helps the um, foundation look a little bit flatter. So that's something new that I've been doing. I've also been doing smaller braids because I want to add a lot of hair to this install. I think I added like four bundles. And with the middle part, it is super easy to make your install bulky. So having smaller braids definitely helps. And then I don't know if you can see it here, but you'll definitely see it as we go on that I don't really start my braid um, right at the top of like my um, right at the top of my scalp where the section is for my leave out to these actual braids. Hopefully you guys can understand what I'm saying. But um, yeah, now we're just gonna braid down all the way till we get to the back and I am feeding in the first the braid um, I am feeding in the braid ahead of the braid that I'm currently doing for each new braid so that's how I do my braid down it's pretty normal pretty simple all you do is literally just while you're braiding grab that bottom braid and just add it to that braid I don't really know how to explain that to you all because I cannot explain how to cornrow or french row but or um excuse me french braid but anyway, so I'm just doing that all the way to the back of my head until I am left with just one braid. Yeah, I had this little bad thing, something like them tens. She gave a nigga mad brain, something like the whiz. But you see the sad thing, fuck it with her is. If the chick ain't even had brains, dummy like a bitch. So I tried to show her about the world and about just who we really are. And where we come and how we still have to go really far. Like baby, look at how we live broke on the boulevard. But all she ever want me to do is on the back of my head, the brain is a little bit bigger. Just because you don't really have to make them as small in the back. As you can see, the bottom of the braids are a lot bigger than the top of the braids. Because a lot of hair is going to sit at the bottom, so it doesn't really matter if they're small or thicker. For me, of course. But um, then you can see I just have one braid. But everything is very smooth at the top and in the front of my head. Because that, for me, really is what matters most. But now I'm going to use this Morning Glory to um, protect my hair from the glue. I like to use a glove instead of like brushing it on. I just feel like I get a better kind of spread of the product using a glove and it's just easier for me I feel like I can actually feel which portion of my hair um, I put the product on and kind of control it a little bit better but you can definitely use a brush or 
on whichever one. So now we in the hotel, mirrors on the ceiling. She say she wanna blow L's, I hear her and I'm willing. But every time I smoke, well, a nigga mind gone. So that every word I spoke, well, I'm trying to put her on, but she couldn't hear me. I told her all about how we've been living a lie. And that they love to see us all go to prison or die. Like, baby, look at how they show us on the TV screen. But all she ever want me to do is unzip a jean. Then all I really want is. You just want to make sure that you put this all around your head so that you don't get glue on your hair. But if you do get glue on your hair, it is okay. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to be a little bit harder for you to remove it. Is this product allows for you to um, just run water over your hair and then your clippy will come out like a wig. So definitely make sure that you get this all over your head for an easier takedown. Lights please, lights please, turn off the lights For now everything just seems so right And how you make the darkness seem so bright I'm feeling like that now I'm going to put my cap on and I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer but you want to make sure that the product is completely dry on your head before you start to glue your tracks down. If you don't wait enough time you will get glue in your hair and again it's not an issue it just makes for a um, longer takedown so make sure that this cap is completely dry. Now you want to use a black cap. I just have a lot of these caps so I typically use them. But you kind of can use this too if you're a beginner because it allows you to see your leave out versus the black cap. You can't really see where your leave out is. So I do kind of like this, but um, I will end up spraying it with like black spray so that it blends in with the track. But my cap is now completely dry. I'm going to start adding my tracks and I like to use old track for quick leaves. So I'm just wrapping them around my head. Kind of can just follow along and watch and see how I kind of do my um, method of how I put my tracks down. Like I said, I used about four bundles and I got them all in. I definitely layer the tracks really close together at the bottom and I'll start spacing them out once I get toward the top. But it is kind of like a puzzle. You want to get to um, kind of get comfortable with this part because this is really how you layer tracks really kind of makes or breaks the style if it's going to look bulky or not so i'll show you guys in just a minute what i like to do for the crown of my head when adding the glue to your track make sure that you don't add too much glue because you honestly don't need too much but then you do also run the risk of getting glue in the tracks and that is just a mess it's so hard to get out of the actual track but again it can it's just more time that you will take with the install so be very careful with the glue take your time and then when you're laying it on your cap also be very careful because you can lay the track on top of each other which will result in you getting glue on the track so just take your time and really pay attention to where you're laying your track when you wrap the hair around So now that the tracks are getting closer to my face, I'm draping them toward my face so that the hair kind of flows toward my face. This kind of helps with at being able to add more hair to the um, cap without it looking too bulky again. So the front is kind of draped toward your face and then you kind of lay it straight in the back. Um, but again, kind of watch and see what I'm doing because I hope I'm explaining it right. But um, yeah, I like to do that and again until I get to the crown. So you'll see me kind of working my way up, draping the tracks, and then you'll start just going straight across your head in just a minute.
Okay, so now there's no more room for you to drape the track, so you have to start working in the back. So you're just gonna lay them around on the back of your head and you're still kind of spacing them close together. You just don't wanna space them close together at the points of your head. That's just gonna make it look bulky. So like I'm doing right here, I'm just coming straight around and I'm not bringing it to the top. So I'm just coming straight around like these short pieces are on purpose even though we kind of like puzzle piece this look together but the straight short pieces are on purpose so that the back of my head will be kind of tucked in and I'm pulling these really tight to make it look really flat as well and then again these can be really close together but if it starts to look too thick you will want to take some tracks out so just take your time look at what you're doing and make sure that it's looking good as you go along but um yep don't bring the traps track don't bring the traps all the way to the front of your head just stay in the back and then once you end it off once you get to the top of where the leave out is then you're going to start laying your tracks differently again and then by this time we're all the way at the top so we're not laying them too close so now i'm starting to really kind of space them out because when we get that leave out we want to make sure that everything kind of blends and looks really seamless and not too thick so now I'm just taking my short pieces and I'm gonna work my way all the way up until where my leave out is and I'm spacing these out kind of far because I do not want it to look bulky this part is where it will start to look bulky and then be careful of course let your track actually dry but this part is well it will start to look bulky so definitely space the tracks out until you get all the way to the top I spaced them out really far, but not too far to where you would see the cat, but far enough to where it looks really thin. So make sure that you just let everything dry completely before you start to style because you will snatch your tracks out. So I like to sit under my hoodie dryer for just like 10 minutes or so, let it dry, and then I'll come and cut this cap off and then we can start styling. I don't like no mind games. By the time you make your mind up, it's a kick of times up. Hey, hey, you gon' have to climb it, climb it if you want it. Burning rubber, skirt, burning through these rubbers, it's exhausting. Drop, drop, hop, baby girl, it's crossfit. I'm gonna grab your body, lips, hey. I'm too worried, like I'm a t-shirt. Diamonds on my chest, like a bishop. And these lines right here ain't no kick up. These lines right here won't really, really make you fuck these lines. Really gonna make you numb like shop. This time is your time. I need to know we are your Okay, I'm just brushing everything out, making sure that the install is really flat, and it is, it looks really good, but if it did not, I would be removing tracks until it looked flat. So that's the good thing about it quickly, it's easy to take the tracks out if you know you're like learning how to do it or a beginner. Very easy to do in yourself, you can take them out, put them back in very quickly versus like a sew in, you have to um, unbraid, you know, cut, yarn, everything quickly, it's just much, much easier. Now when it comes to styling, you do have to be more gentle because again, you can definitely rip the track right off your head. But now I'm just going to style. I am going to use some black spray to cover up the um, cap, but if you used a black cap, you wouldn't have to do that. 
but um, here we are. I'm ready to get styling, so I'm gonna um, flat iron and press out my edges and then just style as normal. style will be brand new but um that's pretty much it for this style i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it was informative detailed enough if not let me know down below but please be sure to like the video if you liked it of course subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching i cannot wait to see you all in the next one